um, genders and also uh, different age groups in the space sector. The average age here that I'd like to correct you is actually the average age on the Emirates Mars mission is 27 years old. 30% um, of the members of the team are women. And that's contrary to the global trends that we see where the number of women enrollment in STEM is low. The women in enrollment in STEM here in the UAE in tertiary education, so in the starting bachelor's phase is over 50%. And the highest enrollment of, um, of women in higher education is, uh, is around 70%. Very early on, when I started working in space, I was continuously asked this question, and this is a very, uh, this is a pet peeve of mine. What were your struggles as a woman to get to where you are today? Struggle as a woman, it's a notion that I've never really understood, and it's something that I don't really comprehend. My reply is, and always will be, I did not struggle because of my gender, nor did I have to demand to be treated equal to my male counterparts. I face challenges because space is hard, space is difficult and it's challenging. And it's a big challenge for the UAE because it's because it's we're new entrants into a global uh, space sector that is considered developed, relatively speaking. You see, I was blessed and fortunate to be born in a nation whose founding father, His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, provided opportunities to the entire UAE society. That's women included. So we had women inclusion and inclusion of people from very early on the creation of the nation. Women did not have to demand for access to schools. These were provided to them and they were incentivized to join them. And at the time when they wanted to pursue their higher education, the doors of the universities were open to them. And when it was time to contribute to the society and contribute uh, positively to it, all opportunities were awarded to them for them to contribute in society. The UAE is very much aware of its future and it's working actively from today to diversify its economy. And the space sector is actually a, a, a large push towards diversifying this economy. The UAE is a young nation. Our leadership has realized that youth make a large part uh, of our society. And for a sustainable future, and their sustainable future is being built today. But instead of having them as, as bystanders, as we usually see, the youth are actually part of this growth effort, and they're active members in this growth effort. And our leadership has chosen to include them in the process of creating their future. Some can say that I, that I am speaking from a high tower. The global spy, space community today is made up of less than 20% uh, women with the average age in the European space sector to be 45 by 2014 estimates. The number of women in STEM internationally, the number of women that are working in research is only 30%. The reality always hits me every time I am at an international conference. This not included because I see a lot of women here in a diversity of, of, uh, of different age groups and different generations. But what really helps, uh, what really strikes me there, then and there, is that I find myself what, not only one of the amongst the few women there, but amongst the few young professionals that are within those uh, societies. And to me, that's quite astonishing because these, these are the forums where. Um, where you have a room full of people exchanging knowledge and ideas and sort of discussions that benefit young professionals. As a woman at those events, I am unfortunately often mistaken as somebody's personal assistant. And that is a general stereotype that, is, that I think a lot of women here have actually experienced. You see, women in this field is not something that is very common. The theme of the, this luncheon is diversity. Diversity in whatever shape or form it presents brings along with it differences in perspective and more importantly, different ways of thinking and approaches to solutions. No one can deny that diversity stimulates innovation, yet it is human nature to stick to, to the norm. And we see that in the space industry today where global space sectors are addressing the generation and gender gap in the sector because of that. At a time when resources are scarcer than ever, and the economic benefits of space are continuously being discussed and continuously being questioned. The inclusion of young professionals and women in this sector is no longer a choice, and it's no longer something that we need to uh, put up programs to actively work towards. It is something that we really need so that, so that growth in the space sector does not stagnate. 
The UAE leadership has, as an example, the UAE leadership has empowered a team of young Emirati engineers and researchers to lead the mission to Mars. This project is an example on how to take an action and place trust in those who have the ability to achieve and not, not entirely base those judgments based on gender and age. Thank you.